In 2010, Australia handed a baggy green cap to a young leg-spinning all-rounder from Sydney. Sweet shot. That's how to do it. Bang. Down the wicket he comes, Stephen Smith. Great use of the feet. Since then, he has transformed himself into one of the best batsmen in the world. Steve Smith celebrates a double hundred at the home of cricket, applauded by his own colleagues in the dressing room and by a few thousand Australian fanatics in the stands as well. What a wonderful effort that's been. Great moment for Stephen Smith. Steve, thanks for letting us into one of your net sessions. I've read that you live your cricketing life by repetition and routine. Talk us through repetition. You'd have hit a lot of balls in your career. Why in the nets? Um, more just to, to find a, first of all, find a game plan that I guess works. Um, I try and base my nets and, and challenge myself as much as I can, um, as if I'm out in the middle, particularly my first 20 or 30 balls. What about mentally? Do you, have, do you go out a visualisation a big part of your game or is that all done? Uh, unfortunately, it's generally when I'm supposed to be sleeping. Um, I'm an awful sleeper and I reckon test matches I probably average 15 to 20 hours throughout the whole five days. Um, but because for me, you're nervous and worried? Or? No, no, it's all positive stuff. Right. It's all thinking about who's bowling at me, where I'm going to hit them, um, how I'm going to play, where I'm going to look to score. It's, 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 I don't think very often I get those many of those negative thoughts that come into my mind and when I do I, I shut them out pretty quickly. Now here you've got a few superstitions. Some are normal, like your bat for example. When you pick up your bat you want it to look a certain way. How do you want the back of your bat looking and why? For me it's just uh, behind my shoe. Um, when I look down and I can see clearly, I don't, I don't actually know what it is, I couldn't tell you, but when I'm seeing that clearly I know that I'm, I'm on and I'm in a good space. Socks. Is it right you wear football socks when you bat? I wear football socks, yep. And I, um, I actually tape my shoelaces to my socks. See here, my shoelaces aren't showing except for these things, but... That's how you like it. You're that's how I like it. Like that. I like it like that. Are you aware of all these things you're doing as, as the bowler is at the end of his mark? <laughs> I can't work out which is like left pad, right pad, thigh pad, uh, box or there, something. There, that one? There. Yeah. Are you aware of that at all or not? It um, just over the years happened. Not really. Uh, I think it, it just happens, um, it's sort of what gets me going, it's, it's part of my routine now and, and hopefully do well out in the middle. So that's the mental side of the game, let's get on to the technical side of the game. Would you consider yourself an unorthodox player or not, um, technically and set up etc? Perhaps the way I move, uh, um, as in my prelim movement, but I think all my I guess basic sort of fundamentals are there once that's done. Um, I get myself in a still position, uh, my head's still, and from there I, I don't think I'm too unorthodox. One thing that you do, if I can borrow your bat, right. it's, I mean, I, I saw a still photo the other day of someone with Seema was just about to let the ball go, and your hands and your bat was virtually like that. Yeah. Now, if you're teaching a young boy and a girl to address a cricket ball, you probably wouldn't ask him to start in that position, or would you? For me, I, I, I wouldn't change anyone's hands. I think everyone swings really natural. And for me, yes, I, I go out here, but I do end up coming back around and I keep my hands, you know, reasonably close to my body and, and then I'm able to come down and hit the ball straight. Where does the hunger for runs come from? What drives you forward to get more and more runs? I don't particularly like watching cricket that much. Um, so when you get out, you've got to sit in the stands and, and watch someone else do it. So I prefer be out doing it myself. But yeah, it's, um, I just love batting and I love being out in the middle. Right, enough chat. I'm going to go and chuck some balls. It's the worst throwing ever. I'm That's trying right. to get you outside off. I'll keep straight onto your pads. <laughs> you left that late, didn't you? You left that very late. Yep. Okay. The other thing I've noted, and nearly every coach I've spoken to about you, is that when you are in a net, you're very keen to know where you're hitting that ball, to make sure you're playing the ball late. It's more, I ask, what, like, where did that go through? Was that like sixth stump, seventh stump, or right. fifth stump? Um, whereabouts was it? So just so I'm aware of, you know, making sure my movements are, are good and where I want to be, and um, yeah, that, that everything's in a good place. Right. <laughs> right, I'm going to try and get you out LBW now. All right. Ah. 
Shot. Bonk. Whoa, good leave. Fifth uh, stamp. Fourth four to Four fifth. and a half. Yep. Two balls. Radio. Whoa, well left. It's a waste of a delivery. Right, LBW, magic delivery. How am I going to get LB there? Leg slip, gone. Last ball. <laughs> I'm going to get you LB. No, I'm not. <laughs> well played. Great stuff. Thanks for sharing your thoughts and your technique. It's, um, it's good to have you back. Have a good summer. Thank you, mate. Appreciate well. it. Cheers. Cheers, bud. Thank you very much. No worries. I'm blowing now. <laughs>